Here's how to add a countdown to a ClickFunnels sales page. For this tutorial, I've already created a campaign inside of Deadline Funnel and a funnel inside of ClickFunnels. First step is to go into Deadline Funnel, find Tracking Code in the top blue bar, click that to bring up the tracking code. You can click this blue copy button to copy it to your clipboard. Then go into the click funnels into your funnel, click settings in the top right, find body tracking code and paste the deadline funnel tracking code in this box. Make sure to scroll all the way down and click save and update settings. The next step is to go to the page that you want to add the timer to. I'm going to add it to this thank you page. And what we need to grab is the URL for this page. You'll notice that ClickFunnels shows you the URL here. But a quirky thing about ClickFunnels is if you actually visit that page, you'll notice the URL slightly change. So you always want to open up your ClickFunnels page, give it a chance to load, and then look at the URL as it is here in the address bar. Copy that and then go back to Deadline Funnel, go to the Pages section in the left, click Add New Page, paste that URL that you copied. I've set in this to display a floating bar, and if I want this to redirect after the deadline expires, then I would add an after the deadline redirect page URL here. I'm going to leave it blank because I just want the timer to disappear when the timer expires in this case. Then I click Save. Now there's a floating bar timer with this URL. Now all that's left to do is test it. I go back to the page and refresh. And I now see my floating bar timer appear. That's working perfectly. If I want to change the appearance of the floating bar timer, I can go back to Deadline Funnel and click Edit Appearance. As you can see, the timer is different now. There's another way to add a timer to a ClickFunnels page. You can add it as an inline timer so it appears in a specific part of the page, which is different from the floating bar timer, which sticks to the screen. To do that, you'll want to go into Deadline Funnel, hit Add New Page, add the page again, but this time select Display Inline Timer. Once again, you'll have the option to add a redirect after the deadline URL if you would like. I'm going to leave this blank. And you'll also notice that it gives you a code which you are supposed to copy. I'm going to click that to copy it. I'm going to hit save here so that this timer is set up. And then I'm going to go into ClickFunnels and click edit page on the page that I want to add the timer to. Here I'm going to hit Elements, Add Element. Scroll down to where it says Custom JS HTML. I'm going to drag that and place it where I want the timer to appear. Let's put it at the top here. Now I can click that, click Open Code Editor, paste that code snippet that we just grabbed from Deadline Funnel, and hit save. Now I'm going to go back and refresh the page and see if the timer appears. And now the timer is appearing. Perfect. If I want to change the way the timer looks, once again, I would just go into Deadline Funnel, go to the timer that I want to edit, in this case the inline timer, and hit Edit Appearance. There I can change the colors and the settings for that timer. If you have any questions, please reach out. We're happy to help.